after a nice passage, we've just arrived in an area called Winter Cove. You can see from the chart, the depth is uh, almost 18 feet, so we've set out an anchor with a 4 to 1 scope. 4 times uh, 20 is about 80 feet out there. It's been raining slightly. I'm going to turn off the engines and uh, we're just going to enjoy the day, Winter Cove. Zach, you have a technology we're using. Tell me about it. All right, so this is the camera right here to video the bait that we set out for the crabs to see if any crabs are around. And the cable that's connected to the camera lines up to the boat and it makes it so we can see the crabs. So, so what happens if we find any crabs? Then we put on the big traps. And do we put a video in the big traps? We do, of course. Okay. We have light rain at Winter Cove, the time about one o'clock, and we've set down an underwater camera. And you'll notice on our monitor, we have two things yeah. coming in. That's yeah. right, Zach. We have a sea star. He grabbed it. And notice what he's doing. He wants to get it out of the way. And there is a Dungeness crab behind. Wow. So we'll follow his action as he gets rid of the sea, sea star on our uh, monitor in the main cabin. He's almost afraid. Okay, right now we seem to have a battle. So as I move in here closely, we have a red rock crab, which you can tell by the pinchers. Its maximum legal length has to be about four inches. And this, this in the background that just came in, is a dungeness crab. Much smaller claws. And uh, therefore, moving around this side, probably will give way to the rock crab. But they may share left and right. Who knows? All right, so right here we have the ordinary trap that I explained earlier, but now we have a camera so we can watch the crabs come in and see how the bigger ones get out. So, What kind of bait are we going to use? Salmon. That's it. Let's go. You go ahead, drop her down. <laughs> All right. Dude, that's not like heavy, but I have to like hold it like steady. Our trap with the video has been down for about a half an hour. We have maybe uh, six, seven crabs on the inside, red rock crabs, and a rather large one, but unfortunately he's on the outside of the trap. We'd like to invite him inside, then invite him to dinner. He's making an escape, Zach. Better get him. Okay, Zach, how'd we do? Really good. <laughs> and what kind of crabs did we get? Red rock crabs. Well, what's the difference in size? A lot, um, dungeons are normally bigger. Oh, yeah. So this is the keeping limit for the red rock crab. And then this is the dungeness. So you can see it's a lot bigger. And it looks like we have about six or seven keepers. Yeah. Sounds good. Zach is now rebaiting the trap, so for a bird's eye view in the inside, we have three or four more salmon fillets, <laughs> actually just the remnants of a fillet. Inside, Michael's securing the net, let's put it over again. Well, now that we have our fill of crabs for dinner tonight, we've got Zach as our uh, skipper, pilot, second mate, taking us in to the dock where we're going to do some exploration. Well, we stumbled upon an interesting thing. This is a scavenger hunt. And uh, if you find this cache with a bus inside it, 
and you take a selfie, this gives you two free chocolate lattes, our hot chocolates. So uh, what do you think, Michael? That sounds pretty good. Dear mom, this is how I fell and broke my arm. <laughs> Let's hope not. This is Boat Passage, Winter Cove. And as I pan to the right, we're overlooking Vancouver and one of the blocking islands. So it looks like we have four sea lions, maybe five, dead ahead in the kelp. Two of them still pulled out on rocks and several of them just in the water. It's hodling in. I think we disrupted their siesta. It's near sunset, about eight o'clock, Winter Cove. Had a great day, crabbing exploring, enjoying the little rain and sunshine. And now it's time, it's time to cook the crabs. Okay, with the crabs on board, Michael, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just trying to get this one out of here. He's pretty aggressive. You was grab with your fingers. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, put your hand in there. I think you've been taught at a girls finishing school. <laughs> Okay, what kind of crab is that? That's a Dungeness. You got this it. This one is a Dungeness. So tell me about cooking. Uh, well, they just go from the sea water to the boiling water, and they stay in there for about 10 minutes, and that's it. You fogged up my lens. <laughs> <laughs> it's 8 o'clock, Winter Cove, and we've used our underwater video cameras, like you see here, to identify the crab and where they're located, what they like to eat. And now, now my chefs have prepared a meal. We've used science to create a gourmet delight. So guys, dig in to the best meal you ever have. <laughs> As the sun sets, dinner winds to a close. And what we have, bone plates of crab. So we did a good job. What do you guys think of that meal? Is that? It's really good. Michael? Very good. Yeah, I'm still at it. Had enough crab? I think so. <laughs> Tomorrow.